I suppose the biggest changes I've seen uh, are around the way cancer is communicated, I think, the way diagnoses are discussed with patients. When I first started as a student nurse and then even as a cancer nurse in the early 90s, there was still some debate about whether people should be told and what people should be told about their cancer diagnosis. And thankfully, that's all changed now in as much that people, you know, that you, we can't really dream of a situation where people wouldn't be told that they've got cancer. Um, so that's really good. So it's the other thing that I've, che that I've seen change is around the way uh, uh, side effects of treatment are managed, particularly nausea and vomiting. When I first started as a, as a specialist nurse, people would stop chemotherapy treatment because they were so nauseated. And now the drugs are so good and, 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 and we're getting so much better at controlling those symptoms, that doesn't happen. I mean, it'd be most unusual for that to happen. So that's been a radical change, is that people can get through long, uh, long courses of chemotherapy without without feeling sick or feeling low levels of nausea that can be that, that can be controlled so there's two things I mean there's lots of other things about you know the roles of specialist nurses have changed fantastically really you know there's more specialist nurses uh, it's looked upon as a as a high value and high quality thing to do uh, there's lots of evidence we just heard Mary Wells talk about that in the main hall but talking about the evidence that there is for for the interventions of cancer nurses and it's obvious that that we're all doing a good job